this video will be talking about volumetric stress and volumetric strain. So to understand this, uh, we have taken a setup that uh, a joint body is kept inside a fluid. Now why I am taking a fluid? Because uh, according to the definition of volumetric stress, uh, you have to apply your force entirely on the total area of a given body. So you will be applying throughout the whole area of this particular thing. So definition by still is not changing, it's definition force by area, but this time this will be named known, known as your pressure of the given fluid at a particular point. Because a pressure is uh, nothing but force applied on the unit area and it is uh, the same case which you are producing stress in. So only the difference between pressure and stress will be, they have equal magnitude for sure. But pressure is something which is applied externally to the body and stress is uh, generating inside the body which uh, will uh, cause any changes in the direction. So because of that stress is there, we will say there, is a, there will be a volumetric uh, strain. So as uh, as an MF strain, we will be talking about change in the dimension. So this time we are talking about volume. So change in the volume which you have by the original volume you have. So that's your volumetric strain. So now by using Hooke's law, I can say that your volumetric uh, stress is proportional to volumetric strain. And in that case, let's say this is the pressure. Proportional to volume strain, which is change in volume by original volume. So I'm saying proportionally constant. This time will be uh, calling this bulk model B, which is again depending on your material. So this thing is nothing but your bulk modulus. Again, talks about the unit. So, unit wise, is still it's Pascal or uh, Newton per meter square. It's again unit less. And this again has a unit of Pascal. So, that's your volumetric stress and volumetric strain and uh, the bulk modulus which of a material. I hope you understood this. Thanks for watching.